Welcome back to Ramp Safety Course, understanding safety in ground handling operations on aircraft stands. In this lecture, we are going to study the safety aspects that are required to be kept in consideration in aircraft marshalling. Aircraft marshalling is the activity of guiding the aircraft on the ramp with the help of hand signals, establishing a visual communication with the pilot. When the aircraft enters the ramp, a marshaller guides the aircraft to come straight ahead, turn left or right, slow down, and finally stop. The job of the marshaller is very sensitive because he has complete control of guiding the aircraft on the ramp without having any means to talk to the pilot through some headgear like the air traffic controller does. A marshaller relies on his hand signals to communicate the pilot how to maneuver the aircraft. This inability to establish audible communication between the pilot and the marshaller makes it extremely important that marshaller's hand signals are accurate and pilot's interpretation of those hand signals is correct. Now there are thousands of marshallers around the world belonging to different nations and getting training from different institutions. Similarly, there are thousands of pilots from different nationalities trained from different flying schools around the world. The most important thing in ensuring marshalling safety is bringing pilots and marshallers on the same page that is accomplished by universal standardization of marshalling signals. That is, marshalling signals are same no matter where you are in the world. These marshalling signals are defined in International Civil Aviation Organization Annex No. 2, titled Rules of the Air. And airports around the world follow the same signalling convention so that there does not remain any chance of confusion between marshallers and pilots resulting in any sort of a ramp accident. You see how the safety of the ramp is integrated into policy documents and standard procedures. Now this standardization also calls for a rigorous training in which marshallers are trained to replicate those signals accurately on field. Some marshallers will be taller than others some might be leaner than others and these things can have a personalized effect on the hand signals no matter how much training you impart because marshallers are humans and not machines and there will always be some differences in the way marshallers around the world replicate these hand signals therefore pilots are trained for paying close attention to marshalling signals in order to avoid any misinterpretation. An important point to discuss with regards to marshalling safety is the importance of perspective. Since marshaller is standing behind the stop bar of the arriving aircraft, he has good view of the width of the ramp and aircraft, but his perspective of the distances along the length are susceptible to error. That is to say that marshallers can make a misjudgment of how close the aircraft is to the passenger boarding bridge, how far off the wheel of the aircraft is from the stop bar, and if there are pit systems on the ramp, how far are the rear landing gear from those pit systems. This is something that marshallers learn with experience as well. By parking a small and large aircrafts, Marshallers develop a feel of how the aircraft moves and how the distances differ. For example, wide-body aircrafts can appear to be moving slow, even if they are moving at the same speed as a smaller aircraft. Judgment of aircraft speed and position is a must for marshallers for ensuring ramp safety. In the next lecture, we are going to look at how automated docking guidance systems 
are replacing marshallers on major airports around the world.